Today on our 2015 Kia Sorento, we'll be installing the Kurt 2-inch receiver tube hitch, part number C13152. First, we'll go ahead and show you what the hitch looks like installed. Next, we'll give you a couple measurements to assist your selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and three quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 13 inches. We'll now go ahead with the installation. Now to begin our install, we'll first need to lower and remove the spare tire. You can lower the spare tire through the normal means, open up the rear hatch and using the spare tire tools. Once we lower it, we'll remove the cable and then remove the spare tire. Now with the spare tire out of the way, We'll lower the exhaust by removing the three rubber isolators from the metal hanger. There's one on either side of the tailpipe, and one just forward of the rear axle. To assist in removing the rubber isolator from the metal hanger, we'll spray each one with a spray lubricant. Now before we remove the rubber isolators from the metal hangers, we're gonna put a safety strap underneath the exhaust to help support the weight. Then we can use a pry bar of pliers to remove the rubber isolator from the metal hanger. Now with all three rubber isolators removed, we'll go ahead and use the safety strap to help us safely lower the weight of the exhaust. Now both frame rails are exposed and we can go ahead and point out the attachment points. There's a total of eight attachment points, four on each side. On each side, two of the attachment points will be the weld nuts built into the frame by the manufacturer. The other two are pre-drilled holes in the side of the frame by the manufacturer. We'll utilize these eight attachment points that are already pre-set up. Now over time, the weld nuts are gonna build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris, and can be difficult to install the new hardware. So to clean out the weld nuts, we're going to use a spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. We'll thoroughly clean out the threads of the weld nut before we attempt to install the new fastener. Once we have it thoroughly cleaned out, we can go ahead and take one of the new fasteners and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Now before we install the hitch, the bumper indicator on the inside of the frame rail will make contact with the hitch hardware. So we'll just use our cutoff wheel to trim the indicator. Attachment hardware will be a new 10 millimeter nut and conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch going up through the pre-drilled attachment point of the hitch into the weld nut. For the pre-drilled holes, we'll be using the long carriage bolt and flange nut. The bolts will go from outside the frame towards the inside. On the passenger side, we'll use the spacer block on the outside that the bolt will go through. The carriage bolt will go through and then through the frame. Now we're ready to install the hitch. It's a good idea to get next to the hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. We'll feed the hitch up over the exhaust first and then bring it up to the frame. We can thread our fasteners into the weld nut and we'll hold our hitch in place. Now with all our fasteners installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. We'll start with the weld nut fasteners first. Once we have all our fasteners tightened down, we can then torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. Now with all the fasteners tightened down and torqued specifications, 
we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. Next, we'll reinstall the spare tire and we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of our Kurt Hitch part number C13152 on our 2015 Kia Sorento.